Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, we bless you this morning. Father, we give you glory. God, we give you praise, Father. We thank you, Father, for your awesomeness, God. We thank you, Father God, that you are worthy to be praised, Father. And we give you glory on this morning, God. We tell you thank you, Father, for your goodness, for your mercy, and for your grace. Hallelujah. Good morning. I am Elder Deborah from Wise Choice Ministry. Thank you so much for joining me on this morning. Remember that if you have any comment, not comments, any prayer requests, amen, that you would go ahead and put them in the comments. And um, we are going to be praying on this morning. Um, I'm trying to get this up so I could see your comments this morning. But somebody out there, just tell God thank you. Somebody out there, just say, Lord, I thank you. In spite of what you're feeling, in spite of what you're going through, just tell God thank you. Hallelujah. And we bless God this morning. Good morning, everyone. Hallelujah. And as they used to say in the olden days, if I couldn't say a word, I would just wave my hand. So if you're not even able to speak, just wave your hand. Just give God some glory on this morning. Don't look within what you're going through or what you're feeling. Just give God the glory. Amen. And this morning, I'd like to come from you reading John, uh, the 15th chapter of John. And I'm coming from my spiritual warfare Bible, the New King, New King James Version. And it reads, um, John, the 15th chapter, starting at the first verse. We're going to read the first through the eighth verse. And it says, I am the vine, and my father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, he prunes, that it may bear more fruit. You are already cleaned because of the word which I have spoken to you. Abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine. Neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me, and I in him, bears much fruit, for without me you can do nothing. If anyone does not abide in me, he is cast out as a branch and withered, and they gather them and throw them into the fire, and they are burned. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire, and it shall be done for you. By this, my Father is glorified that ye bear much fruit, so you will be my disciples. Amen. We thank God. Hallelujah for that word there, the scripture. Um, but in, in my warfare Bible, there's a, a, a little passage here. I just want to read this to you called the eternal kingdom of God. Entering the kingdom of God through the new birth means our inner man has entered into eternity now. We are born of the spirit. We are alive to the eternal realities of the kingdom of God. I am not simply going into eternity when I die. My spirit is already living in the eternal kingdom as born again child of God. I can see the kingdom of God. I can't see the kingdom of God unless I'm born of the spirit, taught by the spirit and led by the spirit because it is a spiritual kingdom. Jesus said that that which is born of the flesh is flesh and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. To be born of the spirit means to be born from above, to receive a new spiritual life of divine origin. Amen. So we're talking about a divine connection on this morning. And this is what the father desires with us, his children. Amen. That the Bible tells us in Colossians I believe it's 3 and 10. It might be a little higher than that. It tells us to set our affections on things above and not things on this earth. Amen. And we understand the turmoil in the, in the climate, the political arena, and just everything that's going on in America right now. 
um, even in the world, um, it'll cause you to lose your focus. But this morning, we are praying from our heavenly position that we're divinely lined up, that we are divinely in alignment because we have a divine connection. So I bless God. Hallelujah. Like I said, if you have any prayer requests, go ahead and put them up. Hallelujah. And so we bless God on this morning. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we come before you, God. We're thankful, Father God, for your abundant grace, your abundant mercy, Father. We thank you, God, for your faithfulness and your steadfast love towards us, God. We give you glory, God, for the works of the cross, God. We thank you, God, because it's because of the cross and the finished work on Calvary, Father God. Hallelujah, God, that we are redeemed, God. That we are reconciled back to you. And so, Father, we thank you, God, for your plans that you set in motion, God, in eternity past, Father God, that we would not be a people lost and left up to our own devices, God, that we would not be prey to the enemy. God, we thank you for abiding, God. Hallelujah. That we are the branches, God, and we declare that we're abiding in, on, in the vine, Father God. In the vine is life. God. Hallelujah. God, abundant life. God, in the vine is healing. God, in the vine is direction. Father God, in the vine is strength. God, in the vine is, is healing. God, we thank you for being able to abide on the vine. Father, you told us that if we do not abide on the vine, Father, you said glory to God. There's nothing that we can't, there's nothing that we can do that we can, in order for us to be prosperous in the things that you have called us to God, to this new life, God, to being born again. We must be connected to our source, God. We must be connected to the vine. So, Father, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus, God. We thank you, Father God, that even right now as we come before your presence, God, we just want to repent, Father God. We want to come before you, Father God, and ask you to forgive us of our sins, God. Sins of commission and sins of commission, God. In the name of Jesus, God, we repent, God, for bad attitudes, God. We repent, God, for short patience, God. We repent now, God, for wrong thoughts, God. We repent, Father God, for envy, God. We repent now for jealousy, God. We repent now for anger, God. We repent repent even now for unforgiveness Father God in the name of Jesus God and if there's anything that we missed Father God because we want our slate clean God in the name of Jesus you would bring to our remembrance God those things that we're doing Father that does not please you Father that does not come into alignment with your will and way for our life Father God we realize that we're citizens of the kingdom God and we're your representatives in the earth Father God so we thank Thank you for that divine connection, God. We thank you for the divine flow, God, in our life, God, naturally as well as spiritually, God. In the name of Jesus, God, we thank you, God, for all the benefits, God, that are afforded to us, your people, God, because we are connected to the vine, God. I thank you, Father God, in the name of Jesus for the connection, God. I thank you, Father God, that you have chose us, your people, to be your children, God, to be your representative, Father God, in in the name of Jesus. And so, Father, we thank you even right now, Father, in the name of Jesus for all that you're doing, God, all that you shall do, God, in the name of Jesus, God. And we want to thank you for what you already done in time past, God, how you saved us, God, how you delivered us, God, and how you filled us with the Holy Ghost, Father. So we want to bless your name, Father, God, in the name of Jesus, God. We just thank you that you're faithful, God. You're faithful to your people, Father, God. You're faithful, God. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you, God, for your unchanging hand, Father God. We thank you that it's a new year, God, but we thank you that you're the same God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The word tells us you're the same God today, yesterday, and forevermore, God. We thank you that we can depend on you. We thank you, God, that we can lean upon you, Father God, that we can draw strength from you, God, in a time that we need strength, God. And so we bless your name, God, and we give you all the glory, God, because it is your doing, God, that you're doing through us, God. So, 
Father, we thank you, God. God, we ask you to take your rightful place in our life, God, that we could declare, Father God, that we're no longer living, God, according to the deeds and the mandates of our flesh, God. Oh, God, we, we, we come under the subjection of the Holy Ghost, Father God, that the flesh must die, God, in the name of Jesus, that we bring our flesh under control, God. We crucify the flesh and the deeds of the flesh, Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, that if we're to be connected divinely to you, Father God, we have to move the flesh away, Father God, in the name of Jesus. There's no flesh on the branch, God. There's no flesh on the vine, Father God, in the name of Jesus. And so, Father, we thank you even right now, Father God, for the divine connection, God. I thank you, God, that there's nothing, God, in the name of Jesus that can disconnect us. Hallelujah. Glory to God from the vine, God, that the enemy desires to sift all of us, God. The enemy desires, Father God, that we would fall away. Glory to God, because the word says that the that the that the branch, glory to God, that's not connected to the vine, glory to God, that that it dries up, glory to God, and then they take those branches and they throw them in the fire, God. So the enemy desires, glory to God, is to interrupt the divine connection, glory to God, that we're connected to you, Father God, but we thank you, Father God, in the name of Jesus, glory to God, that the divine connection is like an umbilical cord, Father God, that we must stay attached, God, for life, God, before your life and your spirit to flow through us, God, to overflow, Father, in the name of Jesus, God. I thank you even right now, Father God. I bless your name, God, for what you're doing, not just in my life, God, for the lives of your people all over, Father God. I thank you, Father God, that you're working out everything. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Your word says in Romans 8 and 28 that all things work together, glory to God, for the good of them that are called and loved of God. Hallelujah. I thank you, Father, even right now, Father God, that somebody is sensing or somebody is saying that they blew it or this happened or that happened. Hallelujah. But I bind those thoughts right now in the name of Jesus. You are who God called you to be. Glory to God. I bind every thought that's contrary to the will and the way of God that you have purpose. Glory to God. And everything that has happened in your life. Glory to God. God's going to take that and he's going to work it all out. Glory to God for your good. Glory to God. You are not defined uh, by where you're at right now. Glory to God. Keep moving in the things of God. Keep declaring the word of God. Oh, say no, I say glory. Keep declaring the word of God over your life that you're the head and not the tail. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I speak life into you right now in the name of Jesus. Don't sever your relationship with Christ. Don't sever your connection. Glory to God from the vine. Stay connected to the vine. There's life in the vine. There's strength in the vine. There's joy in the vine. Glory to God. There's love everlasting in the vine. Stay connected. Glory to God. And so Father, I thank you even right now, God, for the divine connection. I thank you for your people, God, that even in this time of turmoil, God, that we're drawing strength from you, God. Even in this time of chaos in the land, God, in the, oh God, even in the political arena, God, even with the unemployment, God, even with the sickness all over the land, God, we know that you are yet in charge, Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, you saw this day before it came, Father God, I thank you that you are a sustainer, God, that one of the benefits of staying connected to the vine is that you are a sustainer, God, that you will keep us, God, hallelujah, glory to God, your word says glory to God, that if we keep our mind stayed on you, glory to God, that you would keep us in perfect peace, God. I thank you for perfect peace even right now, God. Even with chaos going around, not knowing what my next, uh, what I'm going to do next, what my next move is, God. But I thank you, God, that you've already worked it out, God, for our good, Father. I thank you that the finisher anointing rests upon your people, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. I thank you, Father God, for your steadfast love, God. I thank you, God, that you are a provider. I thank you, Father, that you are a way maker. The scripture says the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. God, I thank you, Father, God. That just means that you got it all covered, God. You've already worked it out, Father, God. While you're working it out, God, hallelujah, give us the peace, God, that passes all understanding, God. Oh, God, don't let us fret. Don't let us worry, God. In the name of Jesus, just let us stay connected to the vine, God. Hallelujah. And so so, Father, I thank you even right now, God, 
hallelujah, for being a great shepherd. I thank you right now for being the shepherd that protects us, God. I thank you for being the shepherd that leads us. I thank you for being the shepherd that guides us, God. And all of this comes through the divine connection, God. Oh, God, that if we would just stay connected to, hallelujah, to the vine, God, that you would lead and guide us, God, in the way that we should go, Father God. We decree and declare that in this season, in this time, God, that our ears are attuned to heaven's frequency, God, that we will hear your voice, glory to God. Your word says, my sheep hear my voice, glory to God, hallelujah and a stranger's voice they will not entertain. So Father, I thank you now that we're hearing uh, divinely God, that we're hearing accurately in the spirit, Father God. We're hearing what it is you're telling us to do, God. We're hearing the instructions that you're giving your people. So Father, I thank you, Father God. I thank you, Father God. Your word says, whoever have ears, let him hear. Glory to God. Let us hear in the spirit, God. In the name of Jesus, glory to God. Hallelujah, God. I thank you, Father God, for the uh, for the instructions, God. I thank you for the guidance that you're giving your people, not just the instructions and the guidance, God, but I thank you for revelation, God, that you're giving your people, Father God, that we're able to go in and that we're able to come out, God, in the name of Jesus, God. I thank you for the grace that surrounds each and every one of us, God. I thank you, Father God, that you are a way maker, God. I thank you, Father God, for all that you're doing, God, in this season, God. Ah, glory to God of Tormil, God, that you're giving your people rest, that you're refreshing us, God, and that you're reviving us in the spirit, God. I thank you, Father God, that our minds are refreshed, glory to God, that our hearing is refreshed, God, in the name of Jesus, that our vision is refreshed, Father God, that we won't be caught up on what we see in the natural, God, but we see in the spirit realm, Father God, in the name of Jesus. God, I thank you for accurate vision, Father God, in the name of Jesus, and that vision, glory to God, comes from being divine from the divine connection father god in the name of jesus god i pray for the sick god all over the land god for those that are sick god that you are jehovah rapha god that you are the lord god our healer god i will continue to declare that father i'll continue to declare that you are the great shepherd i'll continue to declare that you are the great physician father god i thank you father god for healing now god that you would send forth your warring and your ministering angels and your angels of healing god in the name of jesus god those that are going through god those that are weary god those that even feel like they're ready to give up God, oh God, would you just sin? I'm going to call it a surge of the Holy Ghost to them right now, Father God, that you would strengthen them, God, that they will know that they have been strengthened by the Lord their God in the name of Jesus. And so, Father, even with this prayer, God, oh God, of us being divinely connected to you, oh God, I just thank you, Father God, that there's life in the vine. Huh, say that I'm so, oh, say God. Mm. Somebody needs to know that there's life. In the vine. You tried everything else. Mm, but there's life. In the vine. So I pray now that you would remain connected. Hallelujah to the vine. Glory to God. In the name of Jesus. And so Father. Even as we pray Father God. We come Father God in the name of Jesus God. We, we bind every hindering spirit. We bind every controlling spirit. We bind every tormenting spirit. We bind every lion spirit, God. We bind every obstacle, Father God. We bind every plot, Father. We bind every schemes, God, and works of the enemy, God. Your word declares, hallelujah, hallelujah, that no weapon, glory to God, hallelujah, that's been formed shall prosper against your children, glory to God. I thank you, Father God. That speaks to every weapon, every work, every plot, every scheme of the enemy. God, I thank you that we are connected because we're attached to, glory to God, to the vine. So, Father, I thank you even right now, in the name of Jesus, strengthen your people all over the land, Father God. I thank you, Father God, I pray, glory to God, for strength, God, for revelation, God, for your leaders, God, all over the land, for the apostles, God, for the prophet, for the pastors, for the evangelists, for the missionaries, for the teacher, God, for even the deacons, God, and even the lay members, God, that you would strengthen your people right now in the name of Jesus. God, I thank you. 
I thank you for the strength, God. I thank you for the power of the Holy Ghost overshadowing them even right now, Father. I thank you, Father God, for your men and your women of God that's on the battlefield, Father God. Hallelujah, God. I thank you, Father God, that they're not out there alone, God, that you're contending for them, that you're fighting for them, God, that you're Jehovah Gabar, the Lord God that fights for us. And so, Father, I thank you even right now in the name of Jesus. And I bless your name, God. I thank you, Father God, even for the shedding in this hour. People that are not getting out, Father God. Uh, people that, that don't have a resource, God. I pray that a resource be made for them, Father, in the name of Jesus, God. Hallelujah, that someone would minister them to, to them, Father God, in the name of Jesus. And I just bless your name, God. I thank you on this morning, God. Hallelujah, glory to God mm, for prayers of intercession, God. I continue to pray for our divine alignment, God, in the name of Jesus, that there's so much coming against your people, God. There's so much coming against our minds, God, in the name of Jesus. But I plead the blood of Jesus even over our mind and even over our emotions. Hallelujah. You need to know that that thing that the enemy, that the enemy sent is not going to work. <laughs> it's not going to work. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I thank the Lord that he surrounds us. Glory to God. Like a favor shield. Glory to God. Hallelujah. That the enemy, glory to God, cannot pass by, cannot pass by the blood. He cannot enter in. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Just like the Israelites. Uh, glory to God. When they were in the land of Egypt and they put in the angel of death was coming. Hallelujah. The God and Instructed his people to hallelujah to take the blood of a slain lamb glory to God and put it on the doorpost and when hallelujah when the death angel came glory to God and when he saw the blood of Jesus uh, he had to pass by glory to God and I decree and declare that in your life that the blood of Jesus covers you glory to God hallelujah and when the enemy comes glory to God he's got to pass hallelujah glory to God because it's the blood stained banner of Jesus that covers us even the more and so I thank you right now father hallelujah glory to God I'm not sure if any prayer requests came through but father we bless you and we thank you we thank you for all those that joined us on this morning for prayer God I thank you for those that will watch the replay God and those that had any prayer requests that I, I didn't see God I thank you father God that you are a prayer answering God I thank you that whatever they stand in the need of, God, that is granted according to your will in your way. Uh, in the name of Jesus, God, uh, God, I just keep praying for strength for your people. But strength only comes through staying connected to divine glory to God. And I bless the name of the Lord. And I give him glory on today. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And so I bless God on today. I pray that you have a good God bless you day on today. Hallelujah. I want to invite you back on tonight on the same page, WC, WCM Interactive, for our Bible study on tonight at 7 p.m. And our topic for this month has been New Year, Same God. So come back and join us tonight. I'll be teaching the Bible study on tonight. So come back, come out back tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and join us as we fellowship and break bread together. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It's an interactive, so your voice counts. So you can make comments. You can join us on Zoom or you can do Facebook Live. Glory to God. We're welcome to have you. I pray that you have an awesome day and remember to stay connected to the vine. There is life in the vine. This is Elder Deborah Morrison, and you have an amazing day. Amen.